bunch of stuff you never meet, yeah Everyone, welcome back if you're new I'm Becca and today we are getting all of the cleaning done in this house I have a ton of cleaning motivation jam-packed in this video and I'm sending it all your way to help you get motivated to get your cleaning done if you're new here I am Becca I'm a mom to three and I always do cleaning videos on Mondays and Fridays I try to keep them long and jam-packed with all of the motivation. I always share real life over here too, just to give you a little spiel about who I am, what my channel is about, and I hope you hit that subscribe button and join the family. As you can tell, we are starting the day off with making the beds because it just always makes me feel good whenever I start the day making the beds. And now we are moseying into the playroom and we're gonna get this area cleaned up as well. The playroom surprisingly wasn't that bad on this day, but I was feeling really motivated just to get things cleared up and to get the clutter put away. I don't like clutter and I do like things to be pretty organized and cleaned and all of that. So I just figured starting the day off with making the beds and getting all of these spaces cleaned up would just be a great start to the day. Getting closer to just be Now that we got that all cleared up, I'm going to take the clothes out of the dryer. We have some laundry we need to get done today. I always try to start a load of laundry whenever I'm doing cleaning because I find that it's a helpful way for me to stay on top of the laundry. If you're already cleaning a room or organizing, if you're up and moving around in that way, start a load of laundry. I promise it will make your life easier. And when you're doing one load of laundry every few days or even every day, instead of doing have instead of being forced into having to do five loads of laundry in one day, if you break it down, at least for me, when I break it down, I do one load every other day and then, or maybe two loads some days. But when I break it down like that, I feel like I get a break in between doing laundry or it's such a minimal amount. Like one load isn't that difficult. Like it just doesn't feel so overwhelming. So I always advise before you start your cleaning for the day, throw a load in the wash. I hope everybody had a good weekend and a wonderful Easter for whoever was celebrating Easter this weekend. We actually had a really relaxing day and we just hung out. I was actually going to go to a friend's house and have dinner with her and her family with the kids, but unfortunately they got strep throat, so we canceled those plans. And we decided to just stay at home, relax, and color some eggs and just have a little small, you know, a small gathering at our house. It was nice. It was fun to just relax with the kids since they were gone all weekend anyway. So it was nice to have them back and be able to enjoy the holiday with them. But I would love to hear how your weekend was.
Now we are going to get another load of laundry going before we make our way into my room to make my bed next. But like I said, I try to stay on top of the laundry as best as possible. And the other load that we just folded had been sitting in the dryer for like a day or two. So get another load going. And I'm pretty sure at this point I really needed to do laundry too. So I was at that point where it was like, has to be done today. So we're gonna get that going. And of course we're gonna make my bed as well. Moving on to the downstairs, the dining room area was kind of a mess. The kids had a gathering in our neighborhood for an Easter egg hunt. They also had so many activities for them. It was a lot of fun. The kids had a blast and it was fun just like watching them do the activities and all of that. But that's where a lot of this mess came from. They were taking apart the eggs and all of that stuff. I try to wipe this thing down pretty much every day or every time I wipe down the table, I'll like give it a real quick like surface wipe down, but it has been a while since I've really wiped this thing down from top to bottom. So we're gonna do that real quick now. If you were curious on what I was using to wipe down the table, I was using the Ever Spring wood cleaner. I really like that stuff. I got it from Target and I've been using it, I don't know, probably for like a year now. I really like it. I like how it smells. It works great. Also, if you're curious, the laundry detergent I have been using is the All Free and Clear. I was using Tide Free and Clear or Free and Gentle or whatever it's called, but I have not been able to find it. So I switched over to the All. Same thing. I don't think it really makes a difference anyways, as long as I get something that is free and clear and doesn't have any type of fragrance or whatever in it because my skin is super sensitive. And if you were wondering, if you're new here, my washing machine actually has a laundry detergent tank in it. So I do not have to add it every time. That's a common question I get. Like, why didn't you add any laundry detergent or no laundry detergent? <laughs> it is already in the washing machine. One of the reasons why I love this set so much. Now we are in the kitchen and we're gonna get down to the nitty gritty and get this place spotless again. But first we are going to put all of these clean dishes away. Wouldn't be a true clean with me on my channel if I didn't have a sink full of dishes every day. <laughs> They're never ending. I have thought about using paper plates before too. That is a common question I get, but I just find, 
I don't, there's nothing against paper plates. I grew up using paper plates. I just don't love using them because I feel like it can be a waste of money when you can just use your plates and just wash them. Does it cut down on dishes? Sure. And I think that's like, it's one of those situations where it's like you have to decide what's worth it for you. Like there's definitely things that I like to splurge on that other people don't think are worth it and vice versa. So for me, I'd rather not waste the money on dishes or on paper plates. I know they're not super expensive, but every dollar adds up. I'd rather just wash my dishes and have a sink full of dishes. While we're still here washing dishes, I figured I would give you a really quick insight on what is coming in the near future. I have a, a lot of great stuff coming out that I'm really excited about. I have next week, I will have a garage clean with me. I'm really excited to share that video with you because I know a lot of people were ask, asking me if I was going to do that when I was talking about cleaning out the garage. And originally I wasn't going to, cause I knew it was gonna be, it would make it harder to get the garage cleaned out. I knew that, but at the same time I thought, you know what, I was in the mood to, and I thought it's something different. Maybe it'll be exciting for everybody. So I went ahead and filmed it. I have that coming out next week, this week. The next video I have coming out on Friday is a after Easter clean with me. My house is completely trashed. It is trashed. It's so messy. You know, we've, we've just let it go because of the holiday and everything. So that video will be jam packed with motivation. So be sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on your bell notifications so you don't miss either one of those videos. And then after that, I'm also going to have another video in the near future where I do a really big clean, declutter, and organize in my closet, in the bathrooms, kind of a little bit everywhere. And I'm like really excited to get it done and get those areas like organized and getting rid of the last of Chris's stuff in here as well because there was a lot of stuff that he left behind. Uh, so I have those videos coming out in the near future. So let me know if you're excited about any of those. Have to. Now that we got the dishes all done, I'm gonna go ahead and just wipe everything down in the kitchen. Before we leave the kitchen, just get this all finished, sparkling again. Sometimes I will like clean like certain sections of the kitchen as I'm cleaning them. Like if I'm taking some dishes off the stove and some stuff off the counter over here, I'll wipe that down once I do that. And you know, once I take some things off of the island, I'll wipe that down. It kind of just depends on what mood I'm in that day and what I'm doing and how big the mess is, but I don't ever really clean the kitchen like exactly the same every single time.
now we get back to the laundry. I'm gonna go ahead and take this load and switch the other load. These were the two loads of laundry that I like really had to get done. This was my laundry. If you were curious on how I separate my laundry, I usually do a lights, darks, and a jean pile because I feel like jeans, like they're just rough and the denim's kind of like stains and stuff. So I try not to wash them like with my normal clothes, but those are the piles I usually do. And I have three baskets in that basket thing that I have, but I really needed to do my laundry. Like I was like out of like comfortable socks. I was like down to the socks that like nobody wants to pick. You know those socks? Like I feel like everybody has those socks in their drawers. Like. You don't want to wear those, but you have to wear them because they're all that's left. That's where I was at. So it was time to do my laundry. My closet is a place where I really want to get to and declutter and organize and especially now that Chris is out of here, I feel like there's a lot of space in here that I'm not utilizing and there's like a lot of stuff that is like tucked in the back and kind of becoming claustrophobic and kind of cluttered and I feel like now is the time to get all of that organized again so that is what will be in one of the upcoming videos. Now we are moving to the downstairs bathroom. This bathroom does get a lot of use because it's the downstairs bathroom and it's everybody's downstairs typically during the days or if we have guests come over, this is the bathroom they use. So I really needed to get this cleaned. Oh no, anxiety creeps up on me. Is this how it's supposed to feel? Tell me when it's over, I got someplace that I gotta be It won't leave My friends, hey Get out of your comfort zone, it's a blessing in disguise Get out of what you call home, your name is written in the sky It might feel just like you're on your own I'm gonna finish up with cleaning the bathroom with giving this bathroom a quick vacuum. I mop all of the bathrooms or I steam mop all of the bathrooms um, at the same time on the same day. And since I'm only cleaning this area, I'm gonna go ahead and just give it a quick vacuum. I wanna thank you so much for choosing to click on this video today. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. If you need more cleaning motivation, I have a clean with me playlist linked down below and you can go and pop that on while you clean with me. And if you're new, I hope you hit that subscribe button and stick around and turn on your bell notifications. And I appreciate you so much for being here and showing up every week for those of you who come back and return. Thank you so much. I will catch you on the next one. Bye. I guess I have to take a break. Get out of your comfort zone. It's a blessing in disguise. Get out of what you call home. Your name is written.